Uh, so my name is Beverly Chang and I live in Toronto, Canada. Um, originally I grew up in Calgary, Alberta and ever since from a young age I was always super active. Um, my brother and I were those kids who would play in the playground for like two hours after school had ended while our mom just waited for us in the, uh, on the benches. Uh, I always played sports when I was growing up. It was a huge thing for me. Uh, I started playing soccer when I was like eight and I sucked at it. It was like the worst sport I've ever played. And then as I got into junior high and high school, I played pretty much every sport imaginable. Volleyball, badminton, cross country, wrestling. Uh, but when I got into high school, I got really serious about rugby. And from there, I just brought it to a whole nother level. Like I started playing club at the age of 17. And then from there, I also played for Team Alberta and Team BC. And that's kind of where I got like my big start into fitness because I started training with a, a strength and conditioning coach who was also the Canadian women's team uh, strength and conditioning coach. So that's when I got kind of uh, serious about rugby and about my health and about how strong and fit I was. From there, I started playing uh, for UBC when I went away to school and I played there for the last for four years. So I was always kind of, it's a weird term to describe myself, but I was always kind of an aggressive female. I liked wrestling, but I also really liked to run and like I like sprinting and rugby kind of combined both those interests for me, like contact sport and running, sprinting. So that's what I really liked about it. Um, it wasn't like soccer where I had to kick a ball with my feet and I had no coordination. For, for rugby, you get to use your hands and you get to like work with your teammates and you get to sprint and make, make different plays. Um, and that's what I really liked about it. So while I was playing rugby at UBC, I was also doing business school there. And I came up with this idea to create this uh, boot camp uh, for my business school. So every Monday and Wednesday, I'd, do, I'd run like a fitness uh, camp in the school, like in one of our classrooms. And at the beginning, when I first started it, like only my rugby team came out. It was like all my friends, like 10 people. And I was like, this is gonna be the biggest failure. Like no one's gonna come to this. I think by the end of the year, like I had 30 to 60 people coming out to these classes, which was amazing because like people were willing to just get sweaty, like in the middle of their school day and then go to class right after that. So once I started doing those classes, I was like, I really love this. Like I love being able to teach people like how to work out, give people workouts. Um, like help them get fit, answer their questions. So that's when I started to kind of get more into like the training sort of side of things and like helping other people rather than just being like fully involved in rugby and sports. I had all these friends who were always asking me like, what should I do for a workout? Like what does, what do squats work? Like all these different questions. I came up with this website and I was like, I'm just gonna post different workouts on it. And people could go to it like as a reference or to figure out what they wanted to do for a workout. So then I started this blog. I would post recipes, post different workouts. And then slowly over time, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I started branching into different things. So not just workouts, but also like lifestyle posts, travel posts, things like that. But for the most part, I'd have to say my demographic is female, like between the ages of like 16 and 35. So yeah, it's mostly women, but I also have a lot of men who like tell me that they do my workouts as well because a lot of them have to do with like calisthenics or like weight training. So I think this is good for like all, all uh, both genders, all ages, but mostly women is who I cater to. Confidence, I think is something that every single female struggles with, like I struggled with it obviously for a long, long time. Fitness and exercise pretty much built me into the person I am today. Like if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be anywhere near as happy or confident as I am. I think exercise really, it helps you build like inner strength, but also physical strength, which is super important, especially to me. And like being able to prove to yourself that you can do something without the help of a man or you know, be confident as you walk down the street. The word powerful is so key. When I see some of those women in the Olympics or any sort of female athlete, powerful is just like the one word that should be used to describe them. Their legs, their speed, their like fitness level, everything. Women are powerful and not just athletes, all women are powerful.